It was Africa's first national park and the animals it was created to protect were once on the brink of extinction. But not anymore. <laughs> the mountain gorillas are still considered critically endangered, but as we saw in Rwanda, their numbers are now growing. This is one family, the Amahoro family, which means peace. There are 22 of them, from the silverback, the boss, to the newest arrival, just a couple of months old. And all so vulnerable. When you come to see them, as we did, you need a negative COVID test and a mask. It's really hard to describe quite how amazing this experience is to be this close to a species that was so endangered for so long. I mean, there's one coming through just here, right by us. There are more than 600 mountain gorillas on the Rwandan side. A conservation project now so successful, the gorillas have run out of space. For years, humans have been taking the gorillas' habitat for farming, and the fields go right up to the current boundary of the national park. So Rwanda has decided to take it back, to reclaim the land for the gorillas. 60 years ago, this park, uh, the habitat has been lost and it has never been covered. So now, uh, thanks to the tourism, thanks to the conservation measures, we want to give back to the gorillas. The plan is to increase the size of the national park by a quarter, but in return, thousands of families will be forced to move. The villagers have been promised new homes further away and compensation. It is a big ask. The project comes with a £250 million price tag, but these magnificent creatures are bringing jobs and vital revenue to this country. It's also a rare example of humans giving way to wildlife. Chris Ship News at 10 in the Volcanoes National Park, Rwanda.